Traditionally, the cassava root has been regarded as a subsistence crop. It is a staple food that's boiled and eaten, or dried and processed into flour using traditional techniques, providing a basic diet for millions. In many parts of Africa, it's regarded as a poor person's crop. But appearances can be deceptive, for cassava has the potential to lift millions out of poverty and transform whole economies. The secret lies in transforming cassava into a product known as High Quality Cassava Flour, or HQCF for short. A fine white flour produced from freshly harvested roots which are processed rapidly without fermentation. Helping to spread the word and develop the HQCF value chain in order to benefit smallholder cassava farmers and processors is the aim of the Natural Resources Institute's groundbreaking project funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation known as Cassava, adding value for Africa, or Carver for short. Whereas in some countries, high quality cassava flour is, was already there before we came, in others, it wasn't there. So, but as people get to know that high quality cassava flour is different from what they used to know, as cassava flour, then acceptance level begin to sh shoot up. It was quite a challenge to convince these higher order, higher value uh, buyers that look, we are not talking of exactly the same product. The cassava value chain begins with farmers who supply the processors with the raw materials. The next link in the value chain are the processors who turn fresh cassava into HQCF. The final link in the chain are the end users who use the HQCF to make various different products. The Carver project has been responsible for numerous interventions at every stage of the value chain, such as training, introducing new technology and identifying markets. Across all stages, Carver links necessary players together to ensure the value chain functions correctly. And because each country faces its own unique challenges, the focus must vary from one country to the next. For example, in Uganda there have been major improvements in product quality and supply, and Carver partners have built the capacity of HQCF pharma processing groups. I would say that's the biggest achievement, that now we, the market wants the product and they are willing uh, to, sign, to sign contracts um, with the uh, processing associations. Zanabu Akol is a member of a farmer cooperative society in Uganda, supported by the Kava project. I'm happy and proud of cassava skills and knowledge that I've gained, because if I compare the life before and presently, at least I am in a good position and I'm able to stand on my own and continue getting things that I lack. Because of the success of the NRI's Carver interventions, the market for HQCF is now expanding rapidly. We also would like to do is use the model of working with smallholder farmers, working with the private sector, working with end-use markets for other uses of cassava. Uh, with what we have been able to do in the last four years, you've seen a lot of impact in national policy, uh, you've, uh, with administrators coming out to say, look, what you guys are doing, I'm so impressed and I want to do it all over the country. And uh, this is my dream, I like to see it really happen. Ah!